The Hunutla thermal power plant built by China and Turkey has been operating smoothly after many strong earthquakes and has become the mainstay of the local power system. According to the latest data, the earthquake has killed more than 40,000 people in Turkey and collapsed more than 20,000 residential buildings. The main reason for the serious casualties of the Turkish earthquake is that the earthquake-resistant infrastructure is not very good. In addition, the earthquake also caused serious damage to an imported coal power plant, a local coal power plant, and a hydropower plant. At this time, the weather in Turkey was freezing, and it was the time of peak power consumption, and the power outage of the power plant made the situation in disaster area worse. However, there is one building that is an exception. It is the Hunutla power station built by China in Turkey. After two 7.8 magnitude earthquakes and numerous aftershocks, the Hunutla power station is still intact and operating stably, and there have been no casualties. At present, the power station is providing safe and stable power guarantee for local people's livelihood, emergency repairs, and earthquake relief. Many people find it incredible. After all, the Turkish earthquake is equivalent to the explosion of 130 atomic bombs, which is very powerful. Could it be that the Hunutla power station was far away from the epicenter, so it was not affected? Well, it is not true. In reality, Hunutla power station is only 90 kilometers away from the epicenter. Moreover, the epicenter of the Turkish earthquake was not a single point, but extended 100 kilometers along the fault. The Hunutla power station is located in Umurtalik city, Adana province, which is in the center of a strong earthquake. It can be seen from the pictures of news reports that there are a lot of collapsed houses on the streets here. So, how did the Hunutla thermal power plant, located in the center of this strong earthquake, resist the strong earthquake? Hi! Welcome to Hot Topics Time, and let's continue the topic we are talking about. The Hunutla power station is a key project for Belt and Road Initiative and Turkey's Middle Corridor Plan, and it is also the largest direct investment project of China in Turkey since the establishment of diplomatic relations between China and Turkey. The power station officially started construction on September 22, 2019, Unit 1 was put into commercial operation on June 18, 2022, and Unit 2 officially entered commercial operation on October 3, 2022. In my opinion, the Hunutlu power station has four major characteristics. The first is, it is made in China. This power station gathers the top enterprises in China. The main engine and main auxiliary equipment of the power plant are made of China domestic equipment, and the supply rate of Chinese equipment exceeds 90%. In short, this is a modern power plant invested by China, built by China, managed by China and operated by China. Second, the scale is huge. The total investment of the power station is about 1.7 billion US dollars, with a total installed capacity of 1.32 million kilowatts, providing about 9 billion kilowatt hours of electricity every year, accounting for about 3% of Turkey's annual power generation. The third is environmental protection and energy saving. The power station is located in the Iskenderun Gulf in the northeast corner of the Mediterranean Sea. This is a breeding ground for the endangered species of green sea turtle and the vulnerable species of loggerhead sea turtle. Especially from April 1 to September 30 every year, sea turtles gather here to mate, lay eggs, and hatch. This also puts forward higher requirements for the construction of the power station. To this end, the China construction team formulated protection measures in terms of living conditions, water area management, and noise control. Noise and beach leisure activities are prohibited during the day, and construction and strong lighting are prohibited at night. At the same time, a coal transport trestle across the sea turtle protection area will be built to protect the sea turtle spawning area from artificial damage. Every quarter, the China construction team will organize volunteers to clean up garbage on the beach, clearing obstacles for sea turtles to multiply and return to the sea, leaving life passages. Under strict protection, the survival of Iskenderun Bay is not only unaffected, but there will be nine more sea turtle nests in 2021 than in 2019. In addition, although the power station uses thermal power generation, it has introduced the most advanced coal-fired power generation technology in China, and the emission indicators of various pollutants are better than the requirements of the European Union. 
it is called a smokeless power plant by the locals. In addition, the ecological and environmental protection system of the power station can remove pollutants in wastewater and convert them into recyclable water sources, which solves the local water shortage problem and greatly facilitates the cultivation of surrounding crops. Fourth, it is safe and reliable. Another major challenge in the construction of the Hunutla power station is the safety issue. The site of the power station is located in the first earthquake zone in Turkey, the seismic acceleration value is 0.40 g, and the seismic fortification intensity of the building has reached 9 magnitudes. In addition, the surrounding area is dominated by low mountains and hills, and the terrain is relatively undulating, with a drop of up to 80 meters, making construction very difficult. Therefore, earthquake resistance has become an important factor considered by Chinese builders. From the main design, the design unit East China Electric Power Design Institute has adopted a number of optimization measures. For example, making full use of the properties of steel structure materials and adopting the optimized design of high ductility structures, the main workshop and supply boiler room all use steel structures, using a total of 30,000 tons of steel. In terms of unit design, Chinese companies abandoned conventional solutions and adopted spring vibration isolation technology for the first time. Specifically, when an earthquake occurs, most of the seismic load transmitted from the main structure of the plant is isolated by the spring and dissipated through the damper. At the same time, the connection between the steam turbine and the foundation is designed to bear the remaining part of the seismic load. The above-mentioned technologies are not particularly difficult for Chinese companies. In the end, Chinese manufacturing has also withstood the test of a major earthquake. Thanks to the excellent design planning and infrastructure capabilities, after the earthquake, the structure of the Hunutlu power station's plant and the project's residents were not affected. No one was injured in the entire plant, and the equipment was running smoothly, which effectively guaranteed the power supply. It should be noted that although the Hunutla thermal power plant withstood a major earthquake, hydrogen leakage occurred in the number 2 generator. Hydrogen, coolant, leaks are very dangerous and if not properly handled, can cause downtime and even endanger personal and equipment safety. In order to deal with the dangerous situation as soon as possible, Shanghai Electric Power Company quickly formed a disaster-resisting power protection action team and flew to Turkey to assist in the on-site maintenance work. After on-site research and judgment, the Chinese technical team successfully solved the hydrogen leakage problem of the generator without stopping the machine, guaranteed the stable operation of the two units of the Hunutla power plant, and ensured the power supply for residents in the earthquake-stricken area. If we say that made in China has become synonymous with reliability, then this reliability is not only reflected in quality, but also in service. One detail is that China construction not only provided relief supplies to Adana province and Malacca province, but also supported the emergency vehicles of the power plant, and also used the dormitory of the power plant to take in many family members of local employees, solving their current living problems. Well, thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.